we had established that bin Laden wanted to kill large numbers of Americans. And the only option that we had to target him, since we couldn't fly in and pick him up and arrest him, although we had tried that, uh, was cruise missile attacks. And those cruise missile attacks created high risk of collateral damage uh, and introduced a whole set of problems. Uh, and so we looked at if you if it was legal uh, to use cruise missiles, which would kill a lot of people, uh, why wasn't it legal to use something that was more precise, uh, that would just go after the very few people that we were concerned with? Uh, and that discussion went on for a while, and we, did, we knew there was a barrier there that we weren't sure we wanted to cross. Uh, and ultimately, the, the fact was that President Clinton did authorize uh, CIA to attempt to arrest uh, bin Laden, and failing that, he authorized the use of lethal force. We, that was a time when we crossed the barrier and actually had a name on a hit list. Uh, we knew, however, that the Israelis had been doing this for a long time, coming up with hit lists. And we knew it was extremely counterproductive uh, in their case. And we wanted to avoid that. Fast forward to the Bush administration and then the Obama administration, and you have, as I describe in chapter two of the novel, a kill committee. Uh, people who sit around in the White House passing folders back and forth of names uh, and voting. Uh, on, on who they're going to kill. I just find that it, it went way too far. If any of us uh, back in the Clinton administration would have imagined that in the same room, in the same chairs a few years later, people would be sitting around with long lists and, and, and folders with pictures and names uh, of people and voting on who would live and who would die, I think we, we might never have authorized the, the first use of lethal force against bin Laden.